Now, as Louisiana ramps up coronavirus testing, one unique New Orleans based company is bringing the test to your front door. Our Devin Bartolotta shows us how it works. It's an old school house call with a 21st century twist. Ready Responders is preparing to take COVID-19 testing to your front door. Gown, gloves and goggles. Check. Coronavirus testing in New Orleans has gone curbside. If you're not feeling well, uh, why would you want to leave and go somewhere when, the, you know, when, when the care can come to you? Ready Responders, which for years has made all kinds of urgent care house calls, is now gearing up to test for COVID-19 in patients who fall under CDC guidelines. A paramedic dressed head to toe in protective gear can now administer the test in someone's home, then let them video chat with a doctor. We send out an EMT and a paramedic into the home. They're basically the hands, eyes and ears of the physician or the nurse practitioner. Paramedic John Dunbar says although COVID-19 tests are a new capability for ready responders, EMTs have all the personal protective equipment and training to keep themselves safe. You know, right now, COVID is so community spread that the screening really just consists of the symptoms now, according to the CDC. And so we're taking as many precautions as we can for all of our responders to keep us both from getting it and also spreading it to other patients. Ready Responder says it will see any patient regardless of insurance and there's no out of pocket cost for COVID-19 testing. The goal is to keep the contagious out of emergency rooms. They don't have to leave and risk infection. They'd have to leave, and if they are symptomatic, risk infecting uh, other people. And it, it takes a tremendous amount of pressure off our hospitals and EDs if they call us instead of uh, going in. Flattening the curve in New Orleans, one swab at a time. Ready Responders is using a commercial lab to test patient swabs. It says it should have results back between two and five days. In New Orleans, Devin Bartolotta, Eyewitness News.